my name is Paul Hiltz, and I'm uh, privileged to be the president and CEO here of NCH a Healthcare System, and it's a great day, and it's a great time at NCH. We're in a period of transformational change. We are becoming something new in America, something that we call an advanced community health system. What does that mean? It means we're different than the traditional community hospital. We start with the fact that we're now training over 60 medical residents in conjunction with the Mayo Clinic. Really an impressive uh, number. We have now five endowed chairs in cardiology and in simulation medicine. It's allowed us to recruit and retain some of the best doctors in America. We have over two dozen clinical trials going here now, which is new for NCH, and we're really proud of that. And finally, we have a simulation center that we think would rival anything you'd see anywhere in America. And so we're proud of all these advancements, and today we're gonna to talk about another big milestone. You know, 65 years ago, uh, NCH was created with a group of really committed citizens here in Naples who went door to door raising money to start Naples Community Hospital. And I would say we've evolved from the door to door method and today we're going to be celebrating a big milestone. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to, I want to just say one thing about independent health systems. You know, they're, they're, they are declining in America. Independent health systems are becoming acquired by other big national systems. And one of the key pieces to prevent that and to have a strong community health system that's locally governed is to have strong governance, strong boards. And it starts with the board chair. And across America, a lot of people are reluctant to become the chair of an independent health system board because it's so tough. And it's uh, many times thankless, and it doesn't pay very well either, does it, Scott? <laughs> uh, but we have an incredible board chair who's assembled an incredible board here. I just want to introduce and thank our board chair, Scott Lucky. Thank you, Paul. It, it doesn't pay much, I can tell you that, but it is a lot of fun, and the best thing about it is uh, I get to meet some extraordinary people and doctors and nurses and uh, accomplish something. So, uh, you know, I don't know if I should be enjoying it, but I am enjoying it, and, and we're making some great progress. You know, one of the things happened when I did come on the board, people were coming up to me all the time and saying, Scott, what's going on with cardiovascular and stroke? You know, uh, we need something here. We don't want to have to go out of town if there's an emergency, if something needs to happen. So when Paul uh, Hills came on board, we strategized with the board and said, you know, we, we want to create a, a really good cardiovascular system. And uh, we finally decided we're going to do world-class cardiovascular system. And we were fortunate enough to get Robert Cabuto from uh, Cleveland Clinic. He was uh, head of structural heart there and director there and a world-class guy. You know, one thing about doctors is, uh, you know, we can all say we're great and stuff like that. What really is good is when you know peer-to-peer, -peer, when a doctor knows you have a doctor like Robert Cabuto and says, that guy is great, that's really what happens peer-to-peer. -peer. Robert's gone out and hired 12 world-class doctors, some of whom are here, and we're just gratified to have them. They're exceptional people, they're young, they're energetic, and they're fantastic people. So. You know, we're on our way to creating a uh, world-class cardiovascular department, and we have an exciting announcement today from uh, Francis and, and Kathleen Rooney. You know, they're extraordinary people. Um, they've really dedicated their entire lives to excellence and to making the world a better place for, and making things better for a lot of people. They have incredible integrity, without question, and, uh, you know, I'm very proud to call them my friends. And I'm gratified they've embraced our vision and um, proud to announce they've increased their $8 million gift to $20 million to create the Rooney Heart Institute. So Francis, thank you very much. saying such nice things. <laughs> but uh, I gotta tell you, I'm just, Kathleen and I both, I'm sorry she can't be here, she has some family thing for their daughter, but this is an incredible thing that Scott's done by getting in the board, getting a new board, cleaning out the old board, which I was on 15 years ago, and, uh, and bringing Paul Hills in. 
what Scott and Paul have done is bring in Dr. Kabuto. Kabuto, and he has brought in all these great surgeons and physicians, and the, the opportunity for a transformational experience in Naples to go from a place where people say, stabilize me and fly me to Johns Hopkins, to a place where you say, I'm going to stay right here and get better than Johns Hopkins. And that's where we're going to get because of these gentlemen that I just mentioned. And so Kathleen and I are thankful to be able to participate and help out and, and respect the, the tremendous contribution that they're making to our communities. Thank you very much. Good morning and thank you for those uh, wonderful words. And I'm just really thrilled to be here uh, today. It's a beautiful day. Um, wow, so much to give thanks to and what an exciting announcement and an incredible, incredible gift on behalf of the Rooney's and the Foundation and the family. So thank you, uh, Francis and Kathleen. Um, I, I, hope that, um, I hope that in the years to come, the months to come, we will ex uh, succeed your expectations. Uh, rest assured that we're going to be working very, very hard to build uh, what we've been asked to build, a premier cardiovascular institute for Naples in the region. Um, I, I am just grateful to be kind of behind this program, but it's not just me. It's me and the rest of the team. And in fact, many of my partners are here today. Um, and I please welcome you to stand up for a second because I do want you to meet every one of you. These, you can sit. Uh, these, these partners of mine, friends, have been in this hospital since 6.30 this morning taking care of patients, and they do this day in and day out. They're the most excited uh, behind this. Uh, they're the ones that come to work every day excited about this opportunity to transform our cardiovascular institute into the top program in America. So um, can't do this alone, can only do it as a team, and they represent the key section heads of our department in different subspecialties of cardiovascular care. We're on an exciting journey. Um, this is just prime time, our ability to recruit, hire, bring on clinical trials, start cardiology fellowship, develop education fronts and opportunities is incredible. And what we've done in a year and a half, I've never been able to do in 15 years of career. So it's really thanks to everyone's support and more importantly, the community coming together, uh, stepping up, uh, believing in who we are, believing in our capabilities to offer great care. So um, with that, I just wanna really thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, personally for uh, believing in, in us as a team, uh, our leadership, our, uh, our board, um, the, the level of commitment and engagement and alignment is absolutely spectacular. And I have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna get there one day, we're gonna look back at this day and think of Mr. Rooney and Mrs. Rooney for this incredible, incredible and transformational gift. Thank you, Mr. Rooney. I really appreciate it uh, from the bottom of my heart. So please. <laughs> what we will do with this gift is, is, is um, you know, something that we need to really think through uh, carefully. We want to make sure these resources are invested properly. I foresee us doing potentially, you know, heart transplants in the future, uh, bringing on additional talent to really take care of the whole spectrum of cardiovascular care. So very exciting journey ahead of us. We're in the midst of a great transformational uh, journey and um, I'm most excited. Before I finish and I hand it back uh, to Paul and we get to all celebrate, um, I do have a little gift for you, a little token of appreciation um, for you and your wife. And um, if you could join me up here for a nice picture. Um, this is actually the first lab coat well, you can get this, with the new name of the Rooney Heart Institute in the logo. So. I'm about all these smart people, this reminds me, I'm probably the first construction guy to ever hold a lab coat. <laughs> I think you should put that on. We should take a picture of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Ambassador Rooney has degrees from Georgetown, Notre Dame, Seton Hall, 
Ave Maria, University of Dallas, but I'll bet that lab coat will be your most prized <laughs> And you can wear that with great pride because I do believe over this next five, ten years and beyond, uh, the Rooney Heart Institute will be a name known nationally and it will be recognized for excellence, uh, just as you have in your career of service to the United States and in so many different ways. But, but respected as a member of Congress, as an, as an ambassador. We're delighted to have you make a transformational gift. And I said, Walk, you know, as much for the money, but the endorsement with the Rooney name to us means 20 million times more. So uh, we thank you so uh, much from the bottom of our heart. And uh, we'll be announcing over the next couple of weeks the building uh, that will house the Rooney Heart Institute. So that'll be another exciting piece uh, in our history. So again, thanks to all of you, and uh, let's celebrate this day, and we'll remember it for a long, long time. Thanks a lot.